We want to bring in Art Roderick now, former assistant director for investigations for the U.S. Marshals. Art, thanks so much for being here. Thanks, Vanessa. Uh, given your experience, when you hear zero leads, where do you go from there? Well, I think the zero leads is particularly pertaining to uh, individuals calling in with sightings. Now, they, there seems to be a lot of information that they can dig into here. He's been deported at least four or five times. And uh, I've seen reports where the last deportation occurred in 2016. So what's been going on these last seven years? He's got information in the house uh, that he lived in. So there's a, there's a ton of information that they can go into and investigate to get further leads. But I think what they're referencing, zero leads, is there's been no indication out there whatsoever that they received any lead that says he's here at this particular spot at this particular time. So it's it's very strange. You would think we would have some, some indications that people have seen him out there, which means he's gone deep underground or is already back in, in Mexico, which would uh, open up a whole nother uh, can of worms as far as issues goes uh, during ex the extradition process. Yeah, is your gut telling you that he may already be in Mexico at this point? That seems to be the logical conclusion that that's where he would go, especially since he's been deported uh, four or five times. And that's just the, the ones where he's been caught. I'm sure he's one of these gotaways several different times, but uh, has he come, you know, there's a lot of questions to be answered here. How many times has he been back and forth between Mexico and the U.S. since his last deportation? How did he get these weapons? Where was he working? What do the uh, uh, people at, at his job site say? How is he getting money? So there's a lot of questions to be answered here, and I'm sure there's a group of investigators that is go going through and, and trying to pull up that particular information to figure out where to go next. Tell me a little more about the profile here, because given the callousness of these alleged actions, gunning down neighbors, including a small child, is this the type of suspect who's likely to surrender peacefully, and how will officers make an arrest without more bloodshed? Uh, that's a good question. I mean, to make an arrest without more bloodshed is going to be on, on the suspect. Um, if he comes up with a firearm, then deadly force can be used. But, uh, you know, they want this individual safely in custody. They don't want him committing any more crimes. And as bad, as horrible as this crime was, it just makes you wonder what crimes has he committed before without getting caught at all. So uh, I know there's a lot of collaboration going on between U.S. law enforcement and Mexico law enforcement. The U.S. Marshals, DEA and FBI do have office in Mexico, do have offices in Mexico, which are working this case uh, as the number one project right now. And we know authorities setting up that reward of $80,000. We are hearing some unconfirmed chatter about them raising that amount. Does that amount need to be higher or is that not the issue here? Well, generally, when you put out an award amount, and that's a that's a general um, issue involved in any type of fugitive investigation, is uh, they want to put a reward out there. Maybe somebody will come forward and talk. I think what's happening here is they put eighty eighty thousand dollars out there and really haven't got any viable, actionable information. So they're going to up it some more and then see what happens. But I think the big point here is we got to figure out what this guy was doing here in the U.S. for seven years and how he was functioning, uh, how he was living um, on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, many questions, and we appreciate your time. Art Roderick, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.